Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 4. Joining me again is Michael and Eli, and I am 442 Blackhawk, and last time we finished up the farm, or, well, yeah, we finished up the farm, and we got all the medallions, and we got one last thing to grab here. If you run over here, and, you know what, I'm just gonna shoot this thing. If you come over here, this is... Over in the corner, who you may hear occasionally is Jackson. He is he was very quiet in the last episode, didn't say a lot, so you'll have to forgive me if I introduce him. But over here in this box is the beer stein. And um that's actually a pretty bitchin' piece of treasure. You need a few more that's kind of a running thing in this game. There are several There are several uh three more gems that you need to complete the beer your stein before you can sell it at its maximum value, which we will, of course, be getting in this LP. Really, what the bear stein allows you to do is you can bedazzle it, and the merchant just loves shiny stuff. Okay, so you guys remember the boulder guy, uh, the guys who I was talking about earlier, who come back and are complete and total assholes to you? This <laughs> is how they're assholes. Oh my god. That's, That's the biggest... Da 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 Jake, you forgot your hat. Oh shit. Oh well, no going back for it. Bring your dad. <laughs> Alright, so in here we've got a couple more spinals. Or spinals. Whatever you want to call they're, them, they're shiny thingy. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Alright, so this next area can be uh, it can be a bit difficult. There are a couple of dynamite guys. Also, this is the part that introduces the explosive hey Jake, dynamite guys. I guess you could say this part really blows. Yeah, it, it does. Is this the house that's booby trapped here? Yeah, there are bo this is a big time booby trap. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, this guy is a, Oh, he is a dynamite guy. Yeah, he, he's got dynamite sticking out of his booty hole. And I was just outside the blast range. That dynamite will do quite a bit of Whoa, damage if you're not careful. Whoa, man! That dynamite will do quite a bit of damage. It took it, all those you know, guys out. Yeah, it, it, um... You took zero damage. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got, I got really lucky there. I was just outside the blast zone, and I think the other guy's are not yet. He's still very much alive. <laughs> he was alive. Um, he's probably going to just be right around the... Yeah, there he is. Um... I saw this house is <laughs> Okay, he's just a little weak guy. Um, and he's gonna go down. I wonder if he drops anything. Yes, he drops shotgun shells. Um, this place is booby trapped. It's got one uh, C4. It's got one. Okay, well, it's got one trip wire and it's got some good loot, a spinal and handgun ammo. Now we're gonna wanna run over here and we get, I believe that they're in the, yes, the bird's nest. This is our first piece of the beer steam. It is the red cat's eye. Those are the gems that, the cat's eyes are the gems that fit in the sides of the beer. Um, you glue on the, the sequence. Stein. You yeah. glue on the sequence. No, you dazzle. You see, you get this fancy machine from the store. And you press them on. And you go to your thing and you just combine them. And now you've got a much prettier, much better looking beer stein. Got no, one. That looks worse because you only have one jewel. Shut well, up. Well, okay, it looks it looks better. You gotta admit, it looks better. Michael, you're hurting its feelings. I it don't know. Beautiful. Either way, it hurts the feelings. So what's the point? <laughs> Fair point. All right, and we're getting a lot of typewriters here. Uh, <laughs> to reference the ASDF videos, why is the Ganado on fire? Buy me more jewelry. <laughs> oh God, are we gonna get Ashley in this recording session? Um. I don't, I don't think I don't so. Know, we're I quite a, we're, we will introduce, I hopefully by the end of this episode, we will introduce my favorite character, and I believe everyone's favorite character is no one, no one ruin it. Yeah, well, we will Watch introduce... Out, booby trap. And if you figure it out, don't ruin it. Just make... Well, I'll cut it out or bleep it out if you ruin it, so... We're not gonna ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, thank you, Jack. Alright, so now we have, um, we have a full thing. When it's uh, yellow herbs and green herbs combined will increase your health, but red, green, and yellow is the best combination you can get. It'll heal you completely, and it will raise your health. Um, and you want to raise your health as much as possible in this game. I think I know your, your favorite character. Is it chocolate? No. 
know. God. That's how many Mega 64 references now in this LP? Two? Two. Two to the same oh, name. All right, and this is Lewis. Hey, look, a duct tape Mexican in my, uh, Actually, Spanish, but a duct tape Latino in a closet. That's just like my weekend. <laughs> You're not like them? Am I no. right? You? Okay, I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Leon has excellent decision making skills, guys. And that does it. That is the end of the chapter. And, uh, how many minutes are we at? Six, just six? Okay. All right, we're going to continue on past the chapter, I guess. And, um... That was Vitoros Mendez, and he becomes very special. Yeah, he's, uh, he is... He's one of the tougher boss fights in this game, in my opinion. But Let anyway, us we'll shut up and look at see our power. This intoxicating power. <clears throat> hey, hey, wake up. To another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, I'm just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Do something, cop! After you. Now! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. All right. God damn. 
That was a long cutscene. Uh, well, after the awkward silence. Yeah. Um, Alright, here's some handgun ammo. Go ahead and reload her gun. Can you not fuck with those and boxes on the shelf? Are there boxes? On the shelf. I guess you can't fuck no, with those, them. No, those aren't. Those the aren't crates. They're not actually boxes. And there. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Right. Oh, yeah. That's scary. Is that Kakashi? Don't bring your Naruto bullshit into this, Eli. <laughs> Hokage! I was the one that wrote the Naruto abridged! <laughs> nope. <laughs> you can't see it, but he's flipping both of us off right now. Alright. <laughs> Over here is probably. Oh, well, all that stuff. Got That's something that might interest you. <laughs> Shield your eyes! Go ahead and select This. <laughs> This guy is, this is the merchant. He is pretty much your best friend throughout this entire game. And I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys finish before I keep going. Go ahead. Um, all right, so the merchant pretty much is your best friend. He sells weapons, he tunes up weapons you've already got, and I'm gonna be doing some quick weapon profiles, letting you guys know what I think you should have in this game, what is really, and what is, Utterly worthless to pick up. What are you All right, so we'll start off with what we've got. Uh, handgun does 1.0 damage. The, it's the handgun, just your standby. There's nothing. There's nothing special about the handgun whatsoever. It's average in all aspects, and that's it. Next up is the shotgun. Um, like I said, this thing early on it destroys pretty much everything in your path. There's not a single Ganado who can resist more than two shots from it. Um, and most sub bosses die in four to five, uh, and four to five, maybe six if you're, you know, not aiming for the head. Next up is the rifle. Now the rifle has the same firepower as the shotgun, but it can get more powerful. The only bad thing is, is that this thing's reload and firing speed is atrocious. You will more than likely die if you're trying to use this in a combat scenario, and even in a boss scenario, more than likely they're going to be fast enough to knock you the fuck out. The rifle is terrible. You don't need it for this part, and you won't need a rifle until much later in the game. The TMP. The TMP has shit damage, but it's awesome. Its ammo is super common. It, uh, you know, that point for firepower may not look great, but 30 round clip, um, good firing speed, good reload speed, and it's a good backup to have in case your pistol runs out of ammo. I'm not going to be getting it right now because it's kind of useless until the next couple of areas. Yep. Next up is the rocket launcher. Single fire, costs 30,000 bucks to fire. It is a boss killer. This thing will take out damn near everything in one hit. Very few bosses can stand up to it. Um, and that's all we've got for right now. I'm not going to be tuning anything up. Nothing really needs what it right now. Um, let me go ahead and saw off his rifle. Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, I guess I, I'm just gonna. I guess I am, should sell off my spells. You can't combine spindles with so they're good. <laughs> yeah, just Thank sell off spindles and uh, pearl pen that can't be used with any spells. So we'll just go ahead and drop those off. And uh, we'll go ahead and head out of here. Unfortunately, there's nothing really. The TMP is good to pick up, just not right now. And there's nothing really worth upgrading, so we're just gonna go ahead and start clearing this area. Uh, yes, sir. So, yeah, this area, this is one that you start to see in this game is probably going to be tougher than the early areas. In this area, it's like, I don't know. This area is going to be, it's not going to be really tough, but you can get on your nerves. Stuff like that happens, but a lot of the Ganados will end up killing themselves because of the dynamite guy. Dynamite does damage to everything, which means that if you use the dynamite guys to your advantage, if they get close to you, you're gonna want to just lose the pool. Wow, that guy's probably gonna take it. Yep, <laughs> that guy is my best friend right now. Note that the dynamite guys, at on average, only throw it in a horizontal pattern, so you're gonna lose the pool. Yeah, you're gonna. Dynamite guys will kill. Ganado is more than that. There we go. Also, dynamite is on a timer. It may not seem like it because 
they can stand for a long time with it, but it is on a timer. If you keep hitting them enough, they will. Shots in this game are they're not hard to pull off, but I'd rather save the early on better off saving the ammo. Really not saving the ammo anymore. It's the worst one of these games. Using the rifle is kind of like trying to. It's like trying to hit your enemies. With, <coughs> it's basically like trying to hit your enemies with a potato from a long distance. Well, no, it's like. It really. It does do two damage, and it's a really good headshot weapon. The only problem is that by the time you shot one gun, there are five others where that one was, so. It's just, it's damage isn't bad, it's just so slow, and it's reload time is so bad, that really, it, it's one of those things you just can't get around and make a good weapon. We're gonna go ahead and jump down, and I think that this guy up on the roof here is gonna be our last guy to take out. <laughs> well, he took himself out, apparently. Once again, none of my guys doing my job. And we're gonna go ahead and run up here. No, he's not the last guy. I guess there are some other people. Uh, oh man. Oh man, there are more of them than I thought. Um, I'm. You are not. Well, this kind of sounds like the same test he used. So I'm gonna keep trying to get that guy to get stupid easy shotgun. Yeah, I didn't know there. I thought I'd take most of them out, but these should be. Take 
So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go up there and grab it. And that's it. That is it. Good that was God. I. God. All right, that was a lot of things. So. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. This is 442 Blackhawk, Michael and Eli, for Red Spire Productions, signing off.